Hi guys, me and Daitas Break right here and this is another video and this is basically an unboxing video of the Lamy Gado GT3 car. So basically this Gado right here you're seeing, it doesn't have a box because I bought it second hand but let me just go around show you guys the feature of this Gado race car and the first race car of my collection to the Lamborghini collection. But yeah, so basically for the Gado race car is basically you can think of it's basically a full stripped down race car, race version of the Gado and there's very less uh, luxury parts but yeah let me just show you guys the first feature which is the front usually for the normal Gardo you expect a trunk which will be around here but for this race car Gardo it doesn't have a trunk at all it's basically stripped out to its bare bones as you can see I think if I'm not wrong this would be one of the air intake or like the pump the hydraulic jacks that jack the car out and yeah so basically this is what it looks like oh yeah and if you're wondering this is basically the old auto at the the, the past model of Otoa, so everything is made of metal which is very uh, solid like if you drop any of this part on the floor it will you will hear the metal sound other than rather than hearing the like the plastic chip sound so that's one thing the old Otoa have and um, if I'm not sure whether the camera can pick it up but yeah so you can see the paintwork of the o o the car itself the Lamborghini badge and the clips to clip onto the front of the, the car itself all right so next up let me just show you guys the interior of the car if i could open up this okay yeah. just give me one moment guys so i managed to open up the car itself somehow this driver's side door is much more steeper than the passenger side which is very weird but let me just show you guys the interior of the car as you can see the interior of the Gardo race car is basically fully straight but nothing much except the you got the fuel pump everything right the fuel in the emission switch, the fuel cut switch, and yeah, basically all the like, race car stuff right inside there. And the steering wheel is much different. You can, as you can see, the more like bigger pedal shifter at the back to, so they can shift the, the gear up and down more easily. And of course, just one seat, which is mostly common in the race car itself. But yeah, I'm not sure the camera can pick it up, but this one side of the race car you are seeing it right now but yeah not much to say about the interior itself as it's fully stripped out as it, to the bare bones as you can see the door panel on the driver's side is fully covered up usually for the passengers for the road car for the road guarders you have like the the windows down and up switch for the both the driver and passenger side but for this it's just nothing at all and the windows is basically the sliding windows as you can see right here but yeah, not much to talk about interior. Let me just move on to the back of the car, which is the engine bay. As you can see, the engine bay is quite nicely detailed. Uh, you can see all the wires uh, connecting to the engine itself, quite nicely detailed. But yeah, this is what basically it looks like for the race car Gardo. Uh, yeah, not much. I don't have much. I don't have much to talk about it, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Oh yeah. One more thing I forgot to mention. If you just not saw the front, this is the back of the car itself. So yeah, this is the hood, which is basically this. It's also it's also the same thing to the. If you, if any of you guys have the Gardo Super Trofeo Stradale that in short form the Gardo STS, it has the same thing as this, which is just basically usually for the road cars. It's like main, mainly saving weight. So instead of having the struts that open up vertically, something like let me guys show you. It's mainly something like this. You basically remove it and just this is basically engine cover itself so that you can just pop on pop off with much easier access to like serve to repair the engine or do some uh tuning to the engine itself but yeah that's all i have to say for this video let me just show you guys one more look of the car itself oh yeah one thing if you look from this angle itself you can see it's quite the wing is quite nicely angled to a position that's look that is suited for more downforce but yeah let me just show you guys so it's something like this for usually for the if i'm not wrong if because i have a rather super super legera and the wing is not it's not like tilted to maybe a 10 to 15 degrees angle mainly just straight for the for the airflow to mainly just go up the 
meaning to just go up the car and just go down again. But for this color, it's meaning the, the airflow will mainly go up and go up. So it mainly will be from here towards the roof of the car and just point back up. Upwards or otherwise will be towards the opponent behind the, the guard or behind another race car itself. Basically what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this unboxing, this one of uh, this special unboxing video because this maybe this car doesn't this model is basically itself doesn't have a box at all which is one thing but yeah that's all I have to say for this video don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break and my Instagram should pop up right about here and click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click here to subscribe and click here to see my two other videos and with that I'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>